Hello everyone. Today's video is sponsored by, you guessed it, Enshrouded. This has been a game that I've been wanting to play for a while now, so whenever they reached out, I was all about it. But this will be my first time playing through it, so sit back and enjoy and let's explore this world together. Well, let's get into it. We'll start with our character creation. We gotta go with this stash. And a space bar to jump. The controls are intuitive. They were what you would think they'd be. Holy dude. Gorgeous world. <laughs> Aim for the bushes. Oh, okay. I'm, so I'm guessing that blue fog is the shroud then. I know they have pretty in-depth base building in this game. Bigger amount. Can I just pick this up? Oh, you can. Okay. So you don't actually have to beat up the bigger rocks. I assume I could probably chop down this tree as well. But let's start with our flame altar. Oh, nice. Okay. Try and center it here. Oh, you can see like the outside. It has the yellow. Show sure you kind of where the edge of it's going to be. Perfect. Communicate with the flame. Extends building range. Oh, it goes to 80 by 80. Damn. Okay. So you can make a very large base. Nice. You guys want to see the kitten? Okay, I'll put you down. I want to see what else we can craft here. Workbench. We need some string. I assume string would come from like one of these bushes. Purple berries. Plant fiber twigs. String. Plant fiber. There we go. Perfect. All right. Oh, bring it on, buddy. Mm, we might need it. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm gonna be a loot goblin. Okay, so you can pick it up and move it. That's nice. Yeah, look at this guy. This this is probably gonna be way better. Yep, way better. Nice. We'll start with something like halfway along. Oh, we got a lot. It didn't take long to gather the materials to do this. I wonder if I can dig into this hill. Oh my gosh, you can. Oh, and we're getting stone from it too. We could have a moat. Oh goodness, that opens up so much. So much. Boom. Look at that. It's... It's not much, but it's an honest day's work. And it is the start to our fortress. Oh, dude, you got the round door. I'm doing this 100%. 100%. Oh, this is sick. Oh, yes, dude. <laughs> All right, I should have built this into the ground. Oh, I, I want to build a hobbit sanctuary. Oh, that's sick. All right, let's see what other doors we can do. So we have just the round window frame. Oh, dude, my place is going to look so cool. How do I rotate it? Let's see. R. Nice. Very easy. Let's get us a storage box. Oh, dude, this is sick. Okay. And then what's the construction hammer do? Time to enter building mode. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I am glad I found this now. Probably should have paid attention earlier. <laughs> I laid each individual stone with my hands. Oh, how deep did that go? Oh, these go pretty deep. I meant to delay this. We'll just, we'll just cover that up. No one needs to see that. There we go. Tab enter building mode. Okay. 
So there's more shapes. Let's see. Oh my goodness. There are a lot. Sick. Yes, dude. Okay. I need more stone. Let's get to work. Wonder how far deep into the ground you can dig. Dude, this this would be a phenomenal game to play with friends too. All right, let's see. I'm curious. Like, can I build or can I dig tunnels underneath? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I probably have to like dig a ramp out. That's fine. And we're getting stone doing this too. So this is actually not half bad. I'm going to have like the most cool looking base. I need, I need to figure out a way out of here now. Might have dug myself into a hole. Dude, I'm going to have like a base and then tunnels underneath it. Oh, we got 5,000 now. Okay. Dude, that was, yeah, that didn't take long at all to get a lot of building material. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Oh, you can bleed even more. So you only need to use the pickaxe if you wanted to, like, get materials from it. Oh my gosh, dude, this is so much faster. I can't believe I did that. Oh, goodness. That's funny. You know, I should have put some walls in or windows. This one probably. Oh, that. Okay. Boom. Nice. There we go. Okay. So now. Let's get our roof going. <laughs> let's go. I love it. Travel through the shroud. All right, I mean, we, we got our we got our home base built, and I am uh, damn proud of it. Look at it, dude. You know, I almost like the outside of it. Yeah, and then if we like added a little entry wall, but I think if I were to ever like like yo, let's let's get you started on some video games. I'd probably start with this one because like just in the intro to start by building this very satisfied Look at this it's my own home if we can leave our construction hammer here i'm gonna want to bring food and sex we're about to go explore hmm <laughs> dude yes home sweet home i'm building one of these in the ground dude it's crazy that like I didn't even use the full 40 by 40. I definitely could have. I thought I was gonna have to place each block individually. So I, I was like, let's go with some modest first. But with how easy it was to build up, um, I could have used the full 40 by 40. And then an upgraded one is an 80 by 80. And I assume it probably can even go further than that. So like the amount of space that you can build in, you could, you could legitimately have a castle. You could have a castle. That excites me. We haven't even we haven't even scratched the surface of the game. The amount of stuff that we can do is crazy. It's just the burrowing into the ground. Look 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 at, look at this hole I dug. I'm proud of it. Look at that. This is all me, baby. That's all me. All right, let's see what we got to do mission wise here. Yeah. Survivors of the shroud wait to be roused by your inner flame. Find the sleeping survivor marked on your map. You'll have to venture through the shroud. Oh my goodness, dude. This map is huge. Oh yeah, but like I was saying before, I got distracted by the skill tree. Fun combat system. Base building. The 
uh, character skills you can level up. World itself, absolutely gorgeous. Haven't even begun to go on the story mode because I'm getting sidetracked by wanting to take on exploration and building up my base. And I really just scratched the surface on that too. Okay, before we go fully exploring in this, let's fast travel home, drop this stuff off, because I, I want to get to the main mission. Let's roll. On to the main mission. This is travel through the shroud, but I wonder if I can grapple through it. Damage elixir. Nice. Oi. Nice. Tell me what you dude's jacked. Sick. Okay. Oh, I didn't get to craft the boots. Hey. Dang, my guy is uh, good looking. All right, let's go down into the shroud. I'm a little lost. Location above, location above. Okay. We have two minutes left in the shroud, though. We got more time now. Okay, so I need to aim for the head whenever I shoot him, not just, just shoot. So we did get a lot of bonus damage there on him. Yeah, that's cool. All right, man, I need to get better at the combat in this. Head back to home and then we can craft our glider and our boots. We can be looking schnazza. All right, let's make this glider. Boom. All right, let's go check out the glider. Press space while in the air. Oh, sick. Nice, that is so cool. Oh, 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 oh. I love this. I think I have to go down this. So we got to find the root of the evil, which is probably that thing and or this guy. This might be a boss. Oh, damn. Yep. This is going to be a boss. It won't let me run. still to eat the berry i i in my mind i was like i can move no 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 no
Nice. shot it anymore. It's easier not to be locked on. We can go for headshots. It's locked on. You're strictly going for body shots. see myself putting a lot of hours into it I, i'm going to build up the base and level up my character progress through the missions uh the combat system's really fun the loot seems pretty good in terms of like enough to keep me looking for it but not like too much to where finding something new that's better isn't like oh okay and, you know, here's another weapon upgrade right and so it's it's cool i like the crafting system it's simple enough to where it's not overwhelming but it's in depth enough that it seems like there's a lot to be able to do and explore like just off the start building this was a blast and knowing that there's even more to go on top of it and then on top of it and on top of it where i could end up building a full castle really really sparks my interest in it and so highly rated i i could see why so many people play it um i saw that they had passed two million players um i know it was one of the most purchased games on steam for a while and so two two thumbs up 100 percent two thumbs up I highly recommend the game. If you guys like like this type of content and want to see more of it, comment down below. Let me know. Usually I do Tarkov content and it was cool to, that Enshrouded reached out and was like, hey, you want to try our game? I was like, sign me up right now. Let's do it. So, and again, thank you Enshrouded for sponsoring today's video. I'll catch you in the next one.